got a couple more guys. Got a couple more reads in me, and I think I'll quickly check out um, Avengers No Road Home number one, Guardians of the Galaxy number two, and Damage number 13. I know I said I was going to be done with the Damage one, but I wasn't like going to be done. It was just that I... I was probably going to be done doing the videos. It wasn't that I was going to be done with the series. I enjoy the series. It's quite good. Anyway, moving right along, let's go with Guardians of the Galaxy number two by Donny Cates and Jeff Shaw. Well, let's say um, Star Lord, Groot, Phylavel, Moon Dragon, Cosmic Ghost Rider, and Beta Ray Bill. Okay, that's who we got for our squad. And, uh,. <clears throat> Thanos has taken over another body, as of the end of the last one, and the Black Order, who are working for him, have sort of, uh, they're working for Hela, excuse me, to get his body back. And they have found his body minus the head. Now she is kind of taking this out on the collector, Benicio Del Toro's character, from the uh, movie, and it's uh, not going too great. None of the people on the Guardians of the Galaxy really want to be there. Peter's kind of drunk, and he's kind of struggling with the situation with Gamora having just, you know, killed him. Drax dying, <clears throat> and Rocket being on Earth away from the team. He's got a, a now speaking group with him, and uh, he was talking with none other than uh, his gal. I'm going to try and do this quick, by the way. It, won't, it might not be. <laughs> anyway, he was talking to his ex-gal, who just was uh, Kitty Pride, who just ended up marrying Colossus over in the X-Men universe, other stuff. They end up uh, sort of interrupting uh, Philovel and Moondragon, having a little bit of a, a scene, uh, talking to each other, romance or whatever, with each other. And uh, Ch -ch 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 Groot and Cosmic Ghost Rider are battling, because Ghost Rider would like to be leaving Frank Castle. Ghost Rider, this is from another universe. Beta Ray Bill seeming to be the only sensible one. Well, Moondragon and uh, her gal have been distracted, so she has to go kind of strike. And uh, Peter just says it's basically the team's kind of effed, so he's letting them go. Um, and all the while, Gladiator of the Shi'ar has taken in Star Fox all kinds of injured, and they've taken the, the decision that they were the Guardians of the Galaxy. And they're going to go kill off Gamora, and she's with Richard Ryder, a.k.a. Nova. Ooh, so we got some good stuff here, people. The artwork looks really great. I really enjoyed it. Donny Cates, of course, does his thing like he always does. <clears throat> I'd have to give that bad boy a 8.5 out of 10. should probably check it out if any of that stuff sounded good. Um, Damage, number 13, by Aaron Leprosi and Robert Venditti. It's pretty much uh, versus Batman this time around. He thought he was in the care of the Justice League. All the while, he's actually on a Bat Carrier. So uh, we got ourselves a little battle between those two, basically. And in the end... Uh, he ends up being dropped onto, there might be a few spoilers here on all these, so you might want to turn it off. There's more like synopsis than a lot of my videos, but uh, ends up being dropped onto Monster Island. Now, that's the easiest synopsis I've ever done. <laughs> that is a, a very quick and, and painless one, but uh, the artwork looks really good. The uh, story was barely there, but it was a lot of fun. Damage, I still enjoy it. That's all I can say. And uh, No Road Home Avengers, number one, by Jim Zub, Al Ewing, and Mark Wade with Paco Medina Art. The art looks really good. Um, we're dealing with a Hercules-based story, as well as Rocket Raccoon, Vision, Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, Spectrum, which is a.k.a. Monica Rambeau, uh, Blue Marvel, uh, Dr. Tony Ho, I don't know who that is, uh, Hulk, and Voyager. So, uh, regaling us with tales of old myth, Herc who is also, by the way, very similar to uh, Archer from Archer and Armstrong, and I really like the character. He's a lot of fun. Is interrupted by Rocket in a sort of supermarket on Earth at a hardware store, and he's uh, having a bit of an issue. All the while, um, everything goes dark, by the way. All the while, Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch are discussing her relationship with Dr. or uh, Brother Voodoo, not Dr. Voodoo, excuse me, Brother Voodoo, uh, Jericho, and he offers her to and him to join the West Coast Avengers, which they decline. You know, they're not really trying to do all that garbage, if you will. <clears throat> Instead, they were probably trying to be chilled when everything goes dark again. And uh, we're, uh, we're dealing with uh, a darkness here. Now we're going to go check in with Vision, who is dying of his own issue. Sorry if this is a little 
off. I'm trying to read notes. I, I, and I don't like to not look at y'all. Excuse me, y'all handsome and lovely people. Do enjoy your company. Thank you for joining me, Gregor Black. Um, the Vision, dying, is being accompanied by uh, Spectrum, which is Monica Rambeau, as they try to fix out his, uh, figure out his issues with the help of uh, Blue Marvel and the assistance of this Dr. Ho character. Um, he's a lot more at peace than a lot of them are, but his son intake is not working any longer. And uh, he realizes to be human, one must die. Spectrum continues to use her power to try to help him. Um, separately, everything, you know, goes dark again. Hulk, this is not good if everything goes dark there because it looks like he's, you know, him dealing with what's going on in his issue or his series, if you've been following my other videos of Immortal Hulk or the series, obviously. Well, he's basically a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and <clears throat> that takes over him when it gets dark, so he turns into Hulk form. And uh, a portal basically opens up with the Voyager character finally showing herself and asking, hey, man, we're going to need some help. We need you guys' help. So she grabbed them. She had grabbed, went ahead and grabbed Vision, grabbed Hercules and everybody, and this is all an issue stemming from problems over at Olympus. It looks like all these gods are being killed or have been killed except for uh, one, you know, is on her last breath, and uh, Hercules runs up on her, you know, to find out what's going on, trying to hear from her, and uh, basically she tells him not to say the name of who uh, who has been in charge of this, which is Nyx, the goddess Nyx. It gets said by Scarlet Witch, who then has a phased hand through her head, so... <clears throat> very cool actually good series i really like uh that they chose a lot of random characters and that they did a lot of uh just kind of chilled uh building the team up so a lot of good stuff a uh, pretty good pairing of writers zub and ewing and wade great artwork i think uh, if any of these things sounded good to you you should check them out i'd give damage uh six out of ten stars and i'd give avengers no road home actually a seven out of ten stars so check those out if they sound good to you. And uh, let me know if you've checked any of these out or if you've read anything good this week, if you've got any suggestions. Have a great day. Take care, guys. Guys and gals. Love you guys.